Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another election prediction. This time we have Michelle Obama up against Governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. So I'm remaking this video. I think the last video of this, I kind of overhyped Ron DeSantis. I mean, he did really change his campaign. He went so far on uh, social issues to the uh, right, especially with his policies. It's became a lot more right wing. So I do think that changed over the past uh, year or so when I made this uh, last video. So DeSantis is obviously a much weaker candidate than he used to be at this point. He would do a lot worse in election predictions, pretty much. Uh, he definitely would not do as well with independence like I said he would in the past, in this uh, the last video I made of this matchup. So let's get right into it. So Alaska, probably still a safe Republican. I don't think Michelle Obama would do well in the rural areas, especially in Alaska. Do you think she would do well in Colorado, New Mexico, and Virginia, though? She's going to get that good minority turnout in these states. Plus, that Obama last name would definitely help her. Obamas are seen as quite favorable in the American public's eyes. Uh, in Maine, probably would be safe Democratic, but Maine second probably would go down to lean Republican against uh, DeSantis. New Hampshire would probably be likely Democratic. Same with Minnesota. Iowa and Ohio. Again, traditionally Republican states at this point, probably likely Republican to each of them. Michelle Obama probably wins Nebraska second by a likely Democratic margin against DeSantis at this point. So we'll start off with the uh, southern states. I think Texas, I think it'll stay about likely Republican. I think DeSantis only wins it by about five against Michelle Obama. Honestly, there's an argument that she gets minority turnout pretty high here and he only wins by four, and I honestly think that... Uh, Minority return will be higher in the urban areas for her. She'll do quite well in Texas. Definitely boost that margin there for herself. In uh, Florida, it wouldn't be safe Republican because of higher minority turnout for the Dems. It would probably go down to likely Republican. Again, DeSantis would not do as well as he would against Biden, against uh, Michelle Obama. She would definitely get better turnout or just better percentages among Latino voters here just like Obama did in 2012. Okay, let's see. We'll do North Carolina and Georgia. Uh, North Carolina, I think, would only be a narrow, narrow DeSantis win. Again, she would get higher African-American turnout here, but it wouldn't be enough to stop the state from still staying Republican. But uh, Michelle Obama would definitely win in Georgia. I think she would do quite well here in the Atlanta suburbs. In Arizona and Nevada, I think Michelle Obama just beats DeSantis in terms of independence just going her way. I think she would just win them over because of their view of uh, DeSantis' policies being too right-wing for both of these states' his own uh, policy preference. Now, in these last three Rust Belt states, I think Michelle Obama gets really good turnout in Detroit and Michigan here, which would definitely uh, boost it to a five-point win for her against DeSantis. In uh, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, I think these states probably just easily go to Michelle Obama just because DeSantis is really shooting himself on the foot on uh, just social issues, just shifting way to the right on them when both these states really don't like someone who's far right on those social issues. So it's pretty much a 3.5% popular vote victory for Michelle Obama against Ron DeSantis. I'll see you all in the next video.